rushing to meet deadlines. A section of Konza City's 2,000 workers rush about, plastering and bricking before the end of the day to bring to life what the developers aim to be a fully green city. The Technopolis, which will have a control base for most of its smart city functions, is structured for convenience and sustainability. Green certification. Uh, and when we talk about green certification is where we talk about energy, we talk about water and all resources that we are able to use in a sustainable manner. Konza Technopolis Development Authority Chief Manager, Engineer Anthony Sang says, every amenity has been positioned to be within a walking or cycling distance from residential areas which would further push its green agenda. Konza City will have waste receptacles that will use suction technology by the road, channeling segregated waste to recycling points in its underground horizontal infrastructure system. That has not been done in any part of this region in, uh, in East and Central Africa. We, we don't have that kind of technology. That's a very unique technology. And, and so we're, we, we're creating a life, um, an environment that, you know, uh, with, with Konza, which also has some wildlife, you know, it's, 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 it's all inclusive. Industries and business entities occupying the commercial and technology bands will be required to adhere to the city's new waste policies. And each investor here is required then to meet certain standards, um, specifically with regard to green certification, to ensure that uh, we have a sustainable city. And, and this is really the model for the future developments in, in Kenya and abroad. We will not be having physical trucks carrying garbage from each household. We have an underground pipeline network, a large-scale, a city-scale vacuum cleaner, so to speak. Engineer Sang says, since the Techno City sits on a water-scarce region, seven boreholes were sunk to provide water during the integral construction time. He notes Konza City, which is also referred to as Africa's Silicon Savannah, has begun using its water reclamation facility and infrastructure within the city that recycles used water for reuse. For now, water from this facility is mainly used for construction purposes, but plans are on to begin an irrigation project that will see recycled water from households and farms based at the Techno City being channeled to farms. You have uh, plastic, you have paper, you have cardboard. So you separate your garbage or mixed garbage into a specific receptacle and it is vacuumed to a central collection facility. Kansas City also plans to plant 10 million trees as a part of environmental conservation and wildlife retention plan. Many projects you'd find do not have, say, um, roads that have been done to asphalt standards or water supplied right to your parcel, or electricity supplied, internet supplied. So that is a major part of this, what we call the horizontal infrastructure project, to ensure that once investors come on board, they don't need to think about that. That will have already been catered for. Sectioned in bands and ready for use, Kenya is yet to have its technopolis. And the Silicon City is telling Kenyans, let's get ready to build. Hibak Said for KBC Channel 1 from Konza City.